Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary with this other fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead, hit that like button. Like the content of the channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you pretty much on a daily basis, especially now that we enter football season. So, you like hearing about the Baltimore Ravens NFL talk? Definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button. For everybody that has hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, closing in on 600 subscribers, so thank you guys very much. I greatly appreciate that. Love talking about the Ravens and then the fact that you guys are subscribing shows that you like you like what I'm doing here too. All right. Um, now a couple of things I want to mention, right? Like I said, I was so if you don't know, I was in Michigan, so I didn't upload, you know, the last uh, two days or whatever. Um, so nice kicking in with the fan, but you know, back in Baltimore, good to be back home, and we don't talk about the Baltimore Ravens. I had to hear a lot about the Detroit Lions that I didn't want to hear, right? <laughs> but no, no, shout out to the family though. So. Um, now the Baltimore Ravens, there's been a couple of things out there about Lamar Jackson. Now I want to get that out the, out the way first. I don't think Lamar Jackson's holding out one because we're a week before the season starts. Not even a week with Lester. We're in, we're into week one, honestly, before, you know, we're right here. So I can't see him holding out. I don't know where that came from. Secondly, if the Ravens were going to pay him, I think they would have paid him already. I don't think it, I don't see a contract happening before the season starts. Obviously there's something there that they're not on the same agreement, same wavelength of, Whatever that may be, we don't know. I'm not going to speculate into that. Uh, but yeah, those two things is just something I wanted. To, I just wanted to address really quickly. Like Lamar Jackson is not going to hold out. He's always been the man of his word. He never said he was going to hold out. If he wasn't going to hold out, he would never report to training camp. You know what I mean? So, um, or he just went and did the whole holding in thing where you know you're there but you don't really participate. You know, so so you can you know save money in the pockets like that. But he didn't either one either way. So and also with the Ravens side, I don't think the contract is happening. Listen, I hope I'm wrong. I hope as soon as this video drop, notification comes out and everything I just said was null and void, it means nothing. I hope that's what happens, but I just don't think that's what's happening. All right, his cutoff date is close uh, if it didn't already pass. I mean, you know, they got to be preparing for the Jets at this point, putting in offense, putting in defense, putting in plays, studying film. I mean, sure, I'm sure they've been doing that, but now we're in the week. It's really time to get going. So, but what this video is about is the Raiders released their week one depth chart so we got to go over it. We got to see what stands out, what's important, what's not important. And uh, we just going to kick it off, man. Quarterback, we just talked about him, Lamar Jackson. Fullback, Pat Ricard. Running back one, J.K. Dobbins. Uh, followed by uh, Mike Davis. They got Kenny and Drake all the way here at four, but, you know, we, we believe he'll get snaps over Justice Hill. Okay, so tight end, Mark Andrews. Uh, third string is Isaiah Likely backup is uh, Nick Boyle. All right. Wide receiver one, Rashad Bateman, uh, Demarcus Robinson, Jane, uh, sorry, Devin DuVernay, James Prochet, wide receivers two. And so offensive line, Ronnie Stanley, Ben Powers, Tyler Linderbaum, Kevin Zeitler, Morgan Moses. So that's the offensive side of the ball right there. Now, a couple things that jump off to me. Uh, good to see J.K. Dobbins, RB1. He's been ramping up. Now, that doesn't mean he's going to play all of the snaps. Obviously, he will get rotated in and out. But it's good that the Ravens are confident enough to list him right there. Um... Now, wide receiver, Devin DuVernay being listed above James Prochet is interesting for the simple fact that I think through large parts of camp, they were even, and Prochet was probably even in the lead. But then these last two and a half weeks, James Prochet unfortunately gets that hamstring injury and is forced to take that time off. And DuVernay, you know, he plays well. He takes advantage of the opportunity. So now he's slightly above Prochet in the depth chart as wide receiver three. Now, two things from that. Wide receiver three could not mean very much on this team just because the Ravens could go a lot of 12 personnel and have two tight ends on the field, especially if that involves Isaiah Likely and Mark Andrews. They will be smart to do that. Uh, Isaiah Likely has proved throughout training camp, throughout preseason, that he is a weapon to be used. So a lot, a lot of 12 personnel could be used, right? Uh, secondly, I don't believe the gap between Duvernay and Prochet is so big that, oh, Prochet, I said Duvernay is up here and Prochet is just, you know, middling and not going to get any snaps. I think their snap count will be about even. Quite honestly, now let's talk about the offensive line. Ronnie Stanley, I good, I, I didn't get a chance to talk about Ronnie Stanley. I was driving back when the news came out that he officially started practicing. So that's big, man. I'm happy for Ronnie Stanley to get out there, had that confidence in his body, the confidence in his body to say, "Look, I'm ready to go on the practice field. See what I can do. See what I can't do, and push through it." Uh, that was that was good news. That's good to hear. Now, on the flip side, right, the Ravens have to list Ronnie Stanley as the starting left tackle. For, for multiple reasons. They activated him off pup. He's the guy. You know you're going to put him at left tackle. 
if they put Jawan James as the starting left tackle and Ronnie Stanley as the backup, now you're tipping off the New York Jets about, oh, wait, oh, so Ronnie Stanley's definitely not playing, right? Because now it's up in the air. You know, we don't know. But if you list him as the backup left tackle, you're pretty much saying, yeah, you know, he's not ready to go, okay? Um, so with that being said, in my opinion, I still don't think Ronnie Stanley plays week one. If we're going off what John Harbaugh says, I know we take everything, we don't take everything what John Harbaugh says with the uh, the most the most utmost regard, you know, He's a coach, no, you know, lies here and there, whatever. Um, he said that he wanted guys come with the pup list to have at least two to three weeks to ramp up before we won. Ronnie Stanley is going to have, what, four or five days? That's not going to be sufficient. I don't expect him to play week one. But hopefully, he'll have this whole week of practice right here, practice next week, be ready to go week two. So that's the plan for Ronnie Stanley in my eyes. Now, left guard has been confirmed. Ben Powers is the starter. No surprise there. He's He's earned it. He's earned it. When Tyree Phillips and, um, you know, Ben Cleveland didn't want to snatch the opportunity, guess who did? Ben Powers. So I still think him and Cleveland will rotate throughout the game, but it's his job. It's his job to lose until he says he doesn't want it anymore, all right? So, or his play says that he doesn't want it anymore. So good for Ben Powers, right? Um, and that's pretty much what stood out to me on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, so now looking at the defense. Sorry about that. So on the defensive side of the ball, you got Justin Matabike, defensive tackle, uh, Michael Pierce knows, Calais Campbell, defensive end, with Brent Urban right there. Ravens only have two outside linebackers, Odafi Owe, Justin Houston, all right? Um, your linebackers, Josh Bynes, Patrick Queen, starting strong safety, Chuck Clark, starting free safety, um, Marcus Williams, Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, your starting corners with Brandon Stevens, Kyle Fuller, and behind them, guys. All right, so look, what's up to me on this defensive side of the ball? It's obviously we got to start with the two outside linebackers. It's only two of them listed. That's all the Ravens had on the team. Um, the guy that just added, Delshawn Phillips, is listed as a backup well linebacker, so third-string well linebacker. You know, the Ravens don't need six li six inside linebackers, but that's what they have at, currently at the moment. Um, obviously, Delshawn Phillips will probably play a lot of special teams. What also stands out to me is the fact that Josh Ross is listed below Christian Welch, uh, which is interesting. You know, that, that could very well mean nothing. Honestly, you know, you can take some of these, some of these depth charts with a grain of salt. But, you know, it's, it's something to look at that's interesting, okay? And lastly, uh, the fact that, um, you know, obviously Kyle Hamilton is not listed as a starter right now. Now, Mike McDonald, as we know, wants a lot of three safety sets, so I wouldn't really read too much into that. He's not going to start over Chuck Clark, who... Even though Mike McDonald was new, he still was here in the past. So Chuck Clark knows the system still. Um, and Marcus Williams, they paid him $70 million. Of course, he's going to be the starter, right? Now, Carl Hamilton will still get a lot of looks, a lot of reps, dime packages, some some play in the slot, not not as a slot corner or nothing like that, but just on the edge, you know, things like that, all right? Um, they will use his versatility uh, well. So we'll see Carl Hamilton quite a lot. I think he'll still play between, you know, 50 and 65% of the snaps coming first to Jets. In my opinion, I think you'll still, you'll still see Kyle Hamilton out there that much, okay? Now, the last thing, special teams. Only thing I really need to be pointing out is who is the starting kick returner, who is the starting punt returner? And they still got Devin DuVernay listed as both. Now, I brought this up in previous videos before. I have an issue with that. I don't like your one of your starting guys. No, like I said, Ravens wide receiver three doesn't mean the same thing as wide receiver three on most NFL teams. But still, I would like to see if they could have found somebody else. Maybe maybe Justice Hill to be a kick returner, punt returner. Uh, Devin DuVernay putting them out there. Now, kick return is not really a big deal. A lot of kick returns get booted into the back of the end zone nowadays because of where it's kicked off from. Uh, so And it's obviously a lot safer. You know, you can't do the, you know, the, the wedges like you could do in the past. But still, I don't I don't like seeing one of my starting guys back there. Now, punt return is where it gets a little trickier. Obviously, bigger hits can happen on punt return. So, I just, in my personal opinion, right, that's just, it's just me. I would have rather saw somebody else had kick return, punt return a job than Devin DuVernay. I know he's all pro Devin DuVernay, pro bowler Devin DuVernay at that position. But, you know, if he's going to take that step forward and be that guy that's going to, you know, catch passes for his team on a regular basis, hopefully, you know, find somebody else, when you, especially, when you, especially when you kept a guy like Justice Hill who can do kick return, punt return. You know what I'm saying? He could do that. Uh, so, look, that's the takeaways from the Ravens depth chart, man. Uh, it's good to be back in Baltimore. Good to talk about the Ravens. Uh, I'm excited for the games, uh, not just the Ravens games, all the football games on the schedule. 
Um, also, uh, this week, maybe, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, um, I'm going to talk to a couple of my friends. You know, we're going to get expectations about the Raven season. Uh, we're going to talk about the thoughts about the Jets game. So, y'all be on the lookout for that, man. Appreciate everybody who's watching. Once again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Ravens content coming at you um, quite a lot, man. We into the season, man. It's your boy, Gabriel. This is the Fan TV. I'm out.